now on mute. That's exciting. I've just said all this stuff and no one's heard me. So, um, which is good. What I'd like to say is that we're, we've now come to the end of half of the program and we are so thrilled that we've been able to begin to open up some of these very important discussions that a lot of people are having in the sidebar around corporeality and expanding this sense of corpor you know, corpus habeas and sight and non-sight and sight connected to knowledge and knowledge requiring no form of rationality or no form of cognition in the, in the old fashioned sense. And I, if you'd like to present some questions, just jump in, unmute yourself. If not, then what we'll do is we'll have some amazing music from George, and then we'll move into our nesting, which will start, we'll have some music from George, about two minutes worth, George, if you're able to do that. And then we'll move into nesting and anamorphism, which will be quite a provocative uh, discussion or event, uh, starting off with Shira and Sabra. George, I see George's fingers going. Maybe George has, has, he's not able to do it. Okay, so no one seems to have a question. I mean, I would like to just comment on some of the comments. I think one of the things that was fabulous is David's um, voice, or the machine voice, the Jaws voice coming in against Sonia's voice and the way in which that voice got stuck. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that I can still be heard. But let us move to, let us move to Sabra now. Let us move to nesting and anamorphism. And like I said before, this is a concept that was um, invented or crafted by uh, Simon O'Sullivan and David Burroughs. Oh, we do have George. Come back, George. We don't have George. Let's move into nesting. Gorgeous, gorgeous music. 